This video is a fourth and last of a series that introduce a user to Anaconda. This video offers and demonstrates guidelines for updating Anaconda that I have gotten from the Anaconda documentation pages. 1. Update each environment individually. Each environment should handle all of its own updates. 2. Never update in the middle of a project. This could lead to broken dependencies. If dependencies are broken, you could spend a lot of time getting the project fixed. Every time you update an environment, you risk breaking the code that you've already written. 3. The one exception to the above rule is updating Conda or Conda Build. Conda is a package and environment manager or the part of the Anaconda infrastructure that manages all packages and environments. It should be updated whenever Conda recommends it. To update Conda, simply use Conda update n for name, base c for channel, defaults, Conda. This gets you the most recent Conda version and the most recent Conda patches. 4. Anaconda is a set of packages that have been tested to be compatible with each other. The Anaconda packages are installed in the base environment. Use the command conda list to view these packages. To update the base environment, use conda update Anaconda. 5. Update any additional environments that you have created and do not require the Anaconda list of packages with conda update dash dash all. Of course, you do not have to use the default channel and can use another channel like the conda for channel. In this case, it would be conda update dash c for channel conda forge dash dash all. If you use conda update dash dash all to update your base environment. You could create some inconsistencies in that environment. This section of the video demonstrates the update guidelines previously shown. I'm currently using a terminal with a white background because it's easier to see in a video. Changing the terminal background to white was demonstrated in the first video in this series. Anaconda Part 1, Install Anaconda for Data Science in Ubuntu 22.04. So, I'm going to update Conda, and let's check the Conda version. Do that, Conda, dash dash version, and it's 22.9.0. In order to update it, you would use Conda, update, name, base, Channel, Defaults, Conda. And it will try and update this. So, it says, gives you a warning, a newer version of Conda exists. Current version is 22.9.0, which we found to be true up here in Conda version. And the latest version is 22.11.1. And it says, please update Conda by running Conda update, what, what we wrote up before. So obviously this is not working. And the short version of Conda update dash n base dash c defaults Conda is Conda update Conda. But this also will not work. Now personally, I would just say, okay. Well, this is not going to update here, and I'm just going to leave it alone and let Conda deal with it. Eventually, they'll probably catch up with the updates. If you want to force Conda to update to 22.11.1, you could use Conda install dash n base, or dash n stands for name, Conda equal equal 22.11.1. And that will force the update to the latest version. But as I said previously, 
I would just leave it alone and let Conda handle the updates internally instead of trying to force Conda to do something that it's not comfortable with. After quite a bit of time, you'll see that the following new packages will be installed and the following packages will be updated. And right here it says Conda to 2211.1. 22.9.0 to 22.11.1. And I'll just type in Y for yes. And it will go ahead and do that. But it took, I don't know, somewhere between 5 and 10 minutes to get to that point. And now if I do a conda dash dash version, you'll see that it goes to 22.11.1 instead of 22. Uh, Nine. Okay, so that's how to update Conda. As I said previously, I wouldn't force the update until Conda gets something figured out on how to do it without all the problems. So now I want to talk about how to update the base environment where all the Anaconda packages are installed. So let me get to that environment. Conda activate. And here you'll see I'm in the base environment. And to update all these packages, I would do conda update anaconda. And that will update all the anaconda packages that are in this environment. Now, of course, it will ask you to proceed. And you'll notice right here it says the following packages will be downgraded. And the reason for this is that Conda wants to make sure that all the dependencies are solved. And so I'm just going to type in Y for yes. So now this is updated completely. Most of the package were upgraded, but some were downgraded to take care of the dependencies. And the Anaconda package is up to date. So the next thing I want to cover is how to update one of your created environments. If you use Conda Update Anaconda in that, it will install all the Anaconda packages, and you may not want all these packages installed in one of your created environments. So let's first create a new environment. Yeah, we would do that from inside the base environment. Conda create-n for name and new env. And it tells you where the environment files are located or file. Go proceed, yes. So let's activate this new environment. Conda activate new env. Whoops, I spelled it wrong. It's underscore. Sorry about that. So now I'm in the new environment and let's see what's in there. Conda list, and you'll see there's nothing in there. Let's install a version of Python, and let's see what versions of Python Conda has. The Conda default channel has Conda search Python, hit enter, and you'll see we've got 3.9 and a whole bunch of other ones. And previous ones, and the latest one is 3.10.8 on the Conda default channel. If you want 3.11 or a higher version, you would have to go to Conda Forge channel. So let's install one of these versions of Python, and then we're going to update it. So I would say Conda install Python equal 3.10.6. And that will, just having one equal sign there will allow Conda to figure out which one it really wants to install. And I'm going to hit enter. And ask to proceed. Put in Y for yes. Now let's do a Conda list this time. I'll go right here where it says Python and you see that it's 
Python 3.10.6. So now if I want to update this, I would go conda update. Now I'm only updating this environment here, dash dash all. You'll notice right here it says this, the following packages will be downloaded. Yes, I'm going to update it. Click yes. And so let's do a conda list again. So if I look up here on Python, it's 3.10.8. Now conda update all should work about 95% of the time. If you want to be extra careful about updating, you can update each package in your list one package at a time. So that's it for demonstrating the guidelines for how to update Anaconda. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.